Yeah, hi there, and I am Michael Buckoff, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the 7-step system to pass a TOEFL IBT. And these comments are for Diana. And you made a comment over my website, and you say, Dear Sir, first of all, I'd like to thank you for your time and help. I took the TOEFL the test two months ago. I got 50 without any preparation. So you had eight points on the reading, 15 points on the listening. You had 18 points in the speaking, nine points in the writing. You say, my university required 100 and above. What can I do to get the required scores within two months? Thanks again for your help. I'm going to be honest with you, it's probably not possible. It just doesn't happen like that. You can't just double your score in 60 days. You're probably looking at a minimum of six months to a year of preparation before you get over 100. And usually students who get over 100, typically they've used the language for more than 10 or 12 years. So I, I think that your question here is probably not reasonable. But I'm going to make a suggestion right now, uh, and you can kind of determine, I think you can benefit, of course, from using my course, and it, I guess it just depends on how long it takes you to learn the information. So here's my recommendation uh, that I'm going to recommend for you. Now, over the next 60 days, Diana, there's kind of three things that you want to do. Number one is you want to start a regular routine of reading. Number two, you want to start a routine of practicing listening. And then three, you want to work at my online TOEFL course for at least two to three hours every day for the next 60 days. Now, first of all, let's talk about reading. You can get either magazines, newspapers, or longer books. Start reading about 45 to 60 minutes every day. Read materials that you have a genuine interest in. It's important that you learn to concentrate in English for about an hour. Number two, you can do the same thing with listening. If you have English TV, you can watch news, science, history, maybe documentary programs. That would be a great start. If you have the internet, you can use two websites. One of them is called National Public Radio. You can go to Google and you can find out about that website. A second website, again, using Google, type in the words TED Talks. And you can practice at that website. Maybe a third website that will be beneficial for your listening is Randall's Cyber Listening Lab. Randall is R-A-N-D-A-L-L-S, Randall's Cyber, C-Y-B-E-R, then Listening Lab. Lab is L-A-B, like laboratory. So uh, as you're doing the reading and the listening practice, get in the habit of note-taking. Focus on the main and the most important supporting points of those reading and listening passages. Then using your notes, you can do two things. Using your notes, you can write a summary of the reading or the listening passage. It's good for you right now. Try to write three summaries every week for the next two months. Each summary should be 250 words. Now you can also write maybe three to five. Uh, you can actually orally summarize this information also by doing, uh, you know, speaking about the reading or speaking about the lecture. So you can also do maybe three to five oral summaries every week. If you just do these things here, you're practicing your reading, your listening, you're also practicing your integrated speaking and integrated writing. So that right there is going to be helpful. And then, of course, at my online TOEFL course, I'm not going to recommend a specific study guide for you because your score is so low and you have so high that you want to go. But here's what I recommend. Take about two to three days, I mean two to three hours a day, studying at my online TOEFL course. Now, focus, first of all, on the first three sections of my course. Focus on the vocabulary, pronunciation, and grammar. Go through the lessons in those sections first. And then you can work on the reading and the listening lessons. And then you can work on the speaking and the writing lessons. So, it, you, 
probably you can't go through all those lessons in 60 days, but what you can do in about 1.5 months from now, you can take a practice full length TOEFL IBT exam. And you can get a practice score at my website. You can go to the 8th section of my course to learn more about my full-length IBT practice test. Once you're one of my students, you will be allowed to take these practice tests for minimal fee. All right, so if you, get, if you get close to 100, that means that you're ready to take the official TOEFL IBT exam. If you're not close to 100, then that means that you need to continue to study. All right, Diana, anyway, those are my recommendations. So you have a regular routine of reading and listening, and then you, you work about two to three hours every day at my online TOEFL course going through my lessons. And gradually, slowly but surely, you will begin to improve your academic English language proficiency.